Okay, so we start off this week. Uh, I want to do some test panels with this carbon fiber uh, to see what the great guitar build off guitar would look like with like a transparent red finish on it. I'm running into a problem, and maybe some of you can help me. Um, now, I've painted many things. I used to manage a collision shop, so I know about finishes quite a bit. And something that you cannot have is like any kind of oil or contamination on the surface. So if we just use rubbing alcohol and spray this on here, even rubbing alcohol beads up on the surface. No matter what I do, you can just tell that it is not cleaning the surface. <laughs> just, truth be told, this is hand sanitizer, but it's alcohol based. And it is just, I don't know, because so, so watch this. Watch what happens when we go ahead and try to apply some finish to this. Okay, here we go. All right, well that worked a little bit better than last time. But it's still... We'll let this dry and I'll put another coat on it. But what I'm worried about, you know, you dust a coat on there to basically create a tack coat so that um, you don't have this beating up issue like it's doing on this cardboard. So we'll let that tack up and I'll throw another coat on it. But then I'm worried that it's gonna be too dark and not really our purpose for what we want. Um, I don't know if you can see that reflecting in the sun as I move it around. I think it will work. I am not, I'm a little more picky than this and I am not 100% happy with this result. I think it could work. I think I would have much rather just ordered some red or blue Wove, woven carbon fiber. So I don't know. I, I, I would kind of like it, but I don't know, man. Uh, in other news, on the Dylan Talks Tone front, it's pretty massive for me, uh, yet small. I got a MacBook Air. For those of you that have been following me for a long time, you'll know that I was on a MacBook Pro for probably 10 years, eight years, something like that. And then when I got this camera, I outgrew the 2015 MacBook Pro. It just wouldn't, it just wouldn't edit with it. Um, so I built a PC because at that time, if you're gonna spend 1500 bucks, it was just cheaper to build a PC and use Adobe Premiere to edit. And so that's what I've been doing for the last uh, two years, I guess, something like that. Well, when the MacBook M1 came out, the only reason I went away from MacBooks is because just money per processing power, if that makes sense. Uh, but with this invention, I got extra RAM and a bigger hard drive, so I have like $1,400 in the thing total. It rips. It absolutely rips. My purpose-built video editing PC, um, the last video we edited, which you can watch right now on Patreon, if you go to patreon.com slash Dylan Talks Tone, or if you're a YouTube member, you'll, you've probably already seen the video about the clear strat that's coming up. Um, that's a 12 minute video. My old computer take like 10 minutes uh, to render that. This takes four. <laughs> um, and it just, it just rips, it's just super crazy, it rips. Uh, plus, I don't have to spend the 60 bucks a month for the Premiere, Adobe Premiere package. I can downgrade it to just Photoshop and Lightroom, which is really cool. Um, you know, there's just a lot of cost cutting. Plus, my big tower PC in a motorhome takes up a lot of room and extras and a bunch of peripherals and all that kind of stuff, and that all goes away with this. So now I have this baby computer that I can just throw in my backpack and take with me. Um, I sold my Microsoft Surface Pro 7 a couple weeks ago, and I actually sold my big machine, so I'm actually really only out about 400 bucks to move on to the next computer, which is, which is, I'm, I'm happy with that. So anyway, it's kind of cool. 
Um, don't get in the comments and be jerks about Mac versus PC or whatever. I would literally keep one of each uh, if it wasn't for space. Um, I would keep my gaming computer and, and Premiere for certain things and I would keep this for everything else. Um, but it just, it doesn't make sense because I live in a motorhome to keep both. So anyway, this thing rips, man. Uh, and when I outgrow this, we'll figure out what happens, but I don't see it happening. Uh, I will say that if you were to go and get a Canon R5, uh, something that shoots 8K, something that shoots, um, you know, ProRes RAW and that sort of stuff, that would probably be a little heavy for this computer. But we shoot um, with the Sony a6500 at 100 megabits, 4K, and it's totally fine. No hiccups, no freezes, no nothing. It's amazing. And then I just run an external hard drive for storage after I'm done with the project. It's a freaking killer. Okay, uh, back to random guitar stuff. Okay, so uh, a couple of other random things. It's just one of those weeks. Not a lot going on, just work and random stuff. Uh, new website, or new t-shirt on the website. The Dylan Talks Tone Center Punch t-shirt. So this is basically going back to our original logo design from years ago with the thing going around the name. So that's pretty cool. As well as the Center Punch logo that we originally came out with when the pickup first came out. So um, we were talking about it on a live stream last night on Thursday night. So here's the t-shirt. You can go buy it. I got one of these iRig Pre-HD things. I just want to try this because I've been talking about maybe doing some videos on helping people record easier and cheaper. You know what I mean? So the idea behind this thing is there is a USB-C and a headphone monitor on one side and an XLR on the other and level control and stuff. So watch this. All right, so it's got 48 volt um, phantom power. There's two AA batteries that go in there. We put those in. There's a level control here. And this is actually a lightning cable for my iPhone. So we're gonna actually try to, we'll grab the acoustic and we'll see what this thing sounds like with another thing that I got from the old Amazon folks. And then here's a USB thing. So you could plug this straight into your whatever you want and um, just a quick and easy interface now it doesn't have a thing for guitar but they have one for that too we'll leave a link to that but i think this would be kind of cool let's try it okay so this is just an experiment so we've got the irig the pre irig pre over here um you actually probably hearing my voice through this microphone because it's just going from this straight into my phone um no production value at all just straight into my phone set the levels here um, which will probably be a little bit different for the guitar so hopefully it all works and then this is that microphone that uh, I'll leave the link to it below um, anyway just experimenting with an easy setup for miking an acoustic guitar and yeah <laughs> placement with this thing is a little weird because the sound holes in a different spot so I was messing around with different stuff and so just a quick test um, what do you think put it in the comments I think for ease of use and just plugging in and going it's pretty cool and then also um, 
maybe using it for podcasts and that sort of stuff because you can interface this straight into a phone with any microphone. So you could have any quality microphone. Um, let me know what you think of this mic. I haven't reviewed this mic yet because I actually want to buy another mic that's more of a known quantity to review it against. Let me know if you want me to go deeper into this stuff because I think this right here is really, really cool for the at-home creator wanting to make videos sort of, sort of stuff. I think it's really cool and it's not expensive either. So put in the comments if you want me to uh, dig deeper into this stuff. All right, thanks for hanging out. And uh, make sure you check out our video on Tuesday. We've got some cool stuff coming up. I realized that I already told you about this clear guitar. The folks over on Patreon have already seen, and the YouTube members have already seen the video. Um, that's pretty cool. It's coming out Tuesday, new project guitar. And then we have uh, some other stuff coming up too. So make sure you check that out, as well as go buy that shirt and check out the links below. It helps out the channel. I do appreciate it. Also, um, check out our live next Thursday. Thanks for hanging out, and uh, we'll see you soon.